Hi there everyone. This quick video is going to show you how to customize your page in our course directory, which is being created here using an editable Google slide presentation. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the button that says click here to edit on slide two. This is going to open the Google presentation in a new window or tab in your browser and you automatically have editing privileges because that's the way I've shared this document with you. Over on the left side of your screen now you see thumbnails of all the slides in the presentation. So right now the first slide is clicked and that's why you see that slide large in the, um, the slide viewer. If I click on slide two, you will see that one. If you click on slide three, you're gonna see the slide that I've already edited. And so what your role now is, is to go to a slide uh, that has not been edited yet. At the top in the black bar, click and simply um, get rid of the text that's in there, just like you would in a regular word processing application and type your name here. And at the bottom of the slide, what you'll do is two things. You're going to type a little bit about yourself by clicking over on the right side of the screen and a text box will automatically pop up. So you'll type a little bit about yourself there. And if you want, you can add links simply by clicking on a word and then selecting the link icon in the top bar and adding the link into uh, the box here that says paste a link, okay? Then over on the left side of the screen, you're just gonna click there one time, go to the top and select the little image icon. Alternatively, you could also go to insert and select image. They both do the same thing. From this screen, you will have the option to choose a picture from your computer and upload it. So click on that blue icon. It'll pull up your um, your computer so you can browse for an image. And then simply you'll click open. If it appears on the screen way too big, don't worry. It's very simple to change. You can simply drag the corner and shrink it down. One tip is to hold down the shift key while you're shrinking your image. That ensures that it stays, um, the aspect ratio stays the same so it doesn't get really strange. That's what I mean by strange. One more thing you can do with that image once it's selected, and you know it's selected because it has these little um, squares along the edges, is up in the top there is a crop option so if you want to see more of what's in the center of the image and kind of get rid of some of the background you can select crop and then use these little bars to crop out some of the background this one's already cropped pretty good but so that's how it works if you want to add another image you simply proceed uh, with the same steps that i just showed you we're looking forward to seeing your slides. This is a great way to create a course directory for an online class and allow everybody to share a little bit about themselves in the process.